result probably doesn't reflect the performance. Uh, what are your initial thoughts after that game? We're all really disappointed, um, especially the way we finished the game. Well, the last 20 minutes, 25 minutes, it was just all pressure from us. Um, we came into the game twice. You know, we've left with no points, so yeah, a little bit deflated, but just got to lift our wounds and, uh, and just crack on for the next game now. Neil, hard luck today. A roller coaster of emotions yeah. in that match. Yeah, um, I, I thought we would. I thought the first goal was poor to concede, um, and we came back. Got ourselves back in the game to equalise, and then um, they scored again, which was, I thought, was probably our, our, down to us. Um, and then when we equalised for two-two, I thought this is it. This is the time we kick on. We were just coming into the game. Um, we knew if we just kept the ball, showed some composure. Um, switched to play. We knew the wide areas was going to hurt them because they couldn't get out to the wide areas. Um, so yeah, that's what made it even more disappointing to then concede that third. The way we conceded it, um, we felt it was a really soft goal. Probably our organisation was was wrong, or we didn't get organised quick enough to deal with it. And you know, you know, Cook's a massive threat. You know, nine times out of ten they're going to look for him on the on the delivery of the free kick anyway. So yeah, tough one to take that we didn't stop that from from happening. Um, but I think the way we finished after that, I think the last 20, 25 minutes, I thought it was all us. Um, I thought we were in control. Um, the team that was most looking likely to get something, and it, we just we hit the bar at the end. It just didn't fall for us. And I think if it fell for us, then I still at that point, I, I was confident we could go on a, and get something out of it. Yeah, you came back into the game, like I said, twice to absolute stunners from yourself. Uh, from a personal point of view, you know, we've seen you come back in, we've seen you starting, looking really active. Are you pleased to get those goals in? Yeah, absolutely. Um, just going to give me a little bit of confidence, but um, I've been feeling good, feeling sharp at every game. Um, and yeah, I'm just I'm enjoying my football, so yeah, I'm just looking forward to the rest of the season now. Yeah, you mentioned that chance at the end for, for Bailey, mm. even Smith in added time. I mean, the big yeah. chances, aren't they? Yeah, the big chances, and you know, we've, we've been getting punished by them. Um, you know, I was really pleased with the way we finished the game. I thought our energy. Um, I thought the way we, we went to the 95th, 96th minutes non-stop, causing them problems. They were hanging on, you know, they were, they were worried, they were hanging on and we just couldn't get that final finish. I think the gaffer just smiles it before, saying that, again, even though um, the result's not gone, you still look at the form and the momentum, the way that we're playing. Do you go with that as well, you know, the way that we're playing, we deserve more from the game? I think we did, I, th I thought we were the better team. Um, I think everyone watching here would agree with that as well. Um, if we come off the pitch and we haven't been creating stuff or you know, chances, you'd be a little bit a bit worried. But we're creating loads. By far the better team. Passing. Yeah, it's just really frustrating that we've come away with no points today. These are big fixtures when you, you play a team in front of you. You know, obviously got Northampton next mm -hmm. as well. You know, how much of a blow is today, or, or do you think your positive result against Northampton it kind of brings you back into that, that, that position? Uh, yeah, I, I, like, we lose the game today, but I think the positives is we can come to a stadium like this with 16,000 fans and we can dominate for most of the game and we can be the team that looks like it's going to win. And I would say today that we lost because of we conceded the goals, our, our, our mistakes conceded the goals. It didn't feel like they played through us or caused us a lot, of, a lot of harm, there was a lot of long balls, long direct balls for Dane Oliver, was a massive um, problem up the top, you know, he puts himself about very well, but once we got to grips with that, I didn't feel like they caused us major problems, so we take the positives out of that, because Bradford are a big club, you know, they're expected to, to um, be up there, Northampton the same, well, we, we, we've played Northampton away and beat them 1-0, so we know we can compete against the top clubs in this division. Um, and I think today today shows that even though the result didn't go in our favour. It is really encouraging going back at home um, next Saturday. Looking forward to taking the performance and the results before that um, back in, um, in front of our home crowd. Yeah, definitely. I think if we are in good form at the minute, I know it didn't fall our way today, but I think if we play like that most weeks, we, we will get results. So today is just yeah disappointing to move on and, and go again next weekend now. Looking at, at the team say unchanged, we know you've got a lot of injuries as well. Mm. The fact you didn't make a change as the game went on, does that show that maybe you're going to need some reinforcements in January? Well, uh, we, we had a good bench there, but I think 
as you see with the last 20, 25 minutes, once you've got that momentum, it's difficult to change it. And, you know, it's, sometimes it's hard for subs to just come on and get in, in the rhythm of the game and get into the speed of the game. And we just we felt Ibi was causing loads of problems. Conor Matt was causing loads of problems. Uh, Luke Bolton down the right side was getting forward more. Elliot Watt was playing some great passes. Galbraith was picking up the bit. So we just felt like we're in a good moment. We've got good momentum here, and you don't you don't really want to change things too much when that's that's happening. So that's more the reason for for the no subs. How crucial though is Conor McElhaney's return and, and now form been for you? He, he's a big player for us, you know. He, he's dangerous, um, as you see today, and we've slowly had to kind of build his fitness up. So. This is probably the last two or three games he's managed to do a 90 and he'll, he'll feel a lot, his body won't tomorrow, but he'll feel a lot better for it. Um, but yeah, he, he gives us something um, big in terms of going forward, in terms of threat, goal threat. Um, he's got good game intelligence, he, he plays like a man, so yeah, we're really, really pleased for him today. But also pleased that he's back in the squad. You've scored two goals, obviously you've been out, you make your way back into the team, you must be pleased with how you've come back. Yeah, as I said, scoring, scoring, it's going to give me some confidence. I'm delighted to get on the score sheet, but as I said, you, you score two and then you, you still go away with zero points. It's just frustrating, so it is what it is. Um, yeah, we've just got to put it right in next weekend now. I should say, a lot of positives from today. Um, taking that into Northampton, that would be a big result if you could pull, pull off a result against one of the top three like that. Yeah, I think... Coming into today, we, we were the team in form, you know, if you compare the two teams. And I, I still think after today's game, we're the team in form. So we've not lost the form, we might have lost the result, but the form is not bad. Um, so we take, we take confidence with that. There's a lot of disappointed bodies in there. Um, disapp obviously, they're disappointed because they didn't get the draw or the win. But the performance was good. Like, we went all the way, we, we were toe to toe with him. So we can take that into the next game and, and, and keep building on that. How do you kind of view the, the playoff situation? Because it's so competitive, a result like that shows today, but then you beat Northampton, it's like nothing's yeah. changed, is it? Everyone can beat everyone in this league. Um, it's, it's, we're not thinking about that just yet. It's, it's still a long way to go. Um, we're just concentrating on putting good performances in, game by game, and yeah, we'll see where we are in a couple of months.